Okay, so thanks a lot. Next up is Greg. Hi. Okay, so I apologize for the clickbait, but last week we went to Rostock in Germany to photo scan the moon lab. Um, there is a facility there, which I will explain later, but first, who are we? Who am I? I run Polyhaven. We make free assets of various kinds. We release them for free for anyone under CC0, and we try and focus on quality over quantity, and it's mostly supported by donations. So polyhaven.com, I hope you have heard of it, but... Right, so the moon. The moon is cool. Um, for me, I like space things. I'm a nerd. Um, the one interesting thing about the moon is that there is no GPS. So if you want to make a robot that goes and drives around on the moon all by itself without a pilot, how does it know where it is? I don't know. Maybe it has cameras. So on Earth, we have self-driving cars. Maybe on the moon, they're the same. Maybe they use cameras for image-based navigation. But image-based navigation requires a lot of data to train those algorithms to be able to figure out how to move around. And the moon doesn't actually look like the Earth, unfortunately. So the, there's no atmosphere, so you don't have a sky. There's not a lot of fill light. You have the bright sun, and your shadows are very dark. Obviously, it's expensive to go there and gather the data. So unfortunately, we have to simulate the data, uh, which is where I come in. So we were invited to go to Germany last week to photo scan some fake moon dust, which they call uh, lunar regolith simulant because it's fake and that's basically made by or made with the same rocks that the moon is made from which is just various kinds of different rocks you find on earth and then they grind them all together into really really small particles and those particles are really small and really sharp and they're kind of bad for you and they're also really bad for anything that they touch so if you put your camera accidentally in the moon dust, uh, it's, you're kind of screwed. You can't really clean it off because it's basically sandpaper that's in the air. So you have to use a lot of protection. And luckily, you can move it around using any gardening equipment like rakes and sieves, as you'll see in the next photos. So it's very soft and very fine. It's like flour, but it will give you cancer a little quicker. Uh, that's because it's very sharp small particles if you breathe it in and it goes in your lungs it's not the best um, and every time you, you take a step you can see in that image there's big clouds everywhere which you kind of have to deal with and keep your cameras far away and then you have to wait an hour or two for that dust to settle but once that's happened you can basically photo scan it so we built this rig that does most of the hard work for us so that we don't have to walk around making dust the whole time and we basically just stand there for two and a half hours um, waiting for the robot to do its job. So we use a ring flash with that motorized rail and stand around and try not to drop the camera. And then basically what that results in, those two and a half hours of standing around, is 1,500 photos across a seven meter area, which is a total of about a million megapixels or a terapixel if you want to sound cool. And that, for us in our first test, was 1.7 billion polygons, uh, which is what that looks like. And uh, that's a small piece of it, and that's another small piece of it, and that's it. So, unfortunately, I didn't put a link, but eventually, these will be probably next year sometime, we will publish these on Polyhaven for free for everyone, and maybe we help make some space robots walk around. <laughs> Thank you.